Hi, this is Christine from Gecko Gully Websites. Um, one of my clients has asked me a question with regards CubeCart, and so this particular video probably won't um, apply to very many of you. This is actually CubeCart version 3, or my version of CubeCart version 3, um, but some of you might want to know how to do this. But the question that she asked was, if she needs to delete several products and they all happen to be on the same page, it can be a bit of a hassle to actually have to delete the product and then go back to that page by you know paging through and finding it again. So I want to show you a couple of ways that you can actually go about doing this. So let's say, for example, our, um, our product is on page three. So this is our, our product inventory, our products page. Actually, that's a bad example. Let's say it's on page five, all right? And we want to delete, let's say we want to delete this product. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to delete it right now. But say we want to delete that product. So we hit delete, okay? And then after we've hit delete, it's going to go right back to page one again, okay? And then we're going to have to scroll through and try and find page five again, which is a big hassle. So there's two things we could do. One is, can you see this up here where it's got the domain name, admin, products, index, page equals four, okay? So what we can do is we can highlight all of that by holding the mouse down and dragging it across. Then I'm going to do control C, which is on my keyboard. I'm holding down the control button and I'm tapping the, the C key. Now, if you're on a Mac, it's command C, okay? Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Notepad. Now, I'm sorry, but I don't know what the equivalent is on um, a Mac, but I'm sure that it's somewhere where you can um, store little bits of information, okay? So I'll drag my notepad across here. If you're having trouble finding notepad on a PC, it's actually under accessories, okay? And now in here, I'm going to hold down the control key and go V for Victor, which is for pasting, okay? So now what I've got is I've got a little place where I have stored the address of page five. Now you'll note that it says page equals four on the end. Now the reason for that is because PHP, which is the programming language that is used to create KubeCart, actually starts counting from zero. So page one, you know, the first page that we see is called page equals zero. The next page is called page equals one and so forth. So if we want to go back to this page later on, after we've deleted the thing, we can just go back in here, highlight that, do control C to copy, go back up here, delete that, do control V to paste, and we can go back into that page quite quickly. Okay, So that's the first way we can do it. The other way, what if we know that we want to get to page 70, for example? Well, so remember that you take off one, so we go to page equals 69, and you can just change that number on the end. Okay, you don't have to change, you don't have to have the th whole thing. Now, coincidentally, there are exactly 70 pages in this, isn't that strange? Anyway, so if you want to go to any page, you can do page equals and put the page number on the end. Now, you can do the same thing in the view product screen. You can do it in, um, if you're looking through a list of customers, you can do it in any page in KubeCart that has multiple pages. Okay, so let me give you a really solid demonstration because there's one here that I want to delete. I want delete this one here which was a test so I'll go delete do I want to delete it yes I want to delete it and you can see it's put me back to page one okay but remember I wanted to actually you know, I can go to page 70 by hitting the very you know this end button here but let's paste this in and I'll go to page 70 which is 69 Okay, and there I am. I'm straight back at this last page again. Okay, so like I said, there's a couple of ways of doing it. One is to just manipulate this number on the end, and the other way is to copy it into your notepad and then copy it out of then out of out of there every time you want to use it. Okay, so I hope that helps. See ya.